Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Fix That Engineer here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment. And by the way, if you like other games, then please do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. The link is in the description. So guys, today for Fix That Engineer though, we have a problem and that's that I'm having a hard time keeping all five builders busy again. I mean, it, it seems to happen on a regular basis. I've said that a lot of times in this series, but now that we're doing legitimate town hall 11 defenses, all right, the things are getting more and more expensive. Like if you go into the builder suggestion, you could see that it's suggesting me upgrade my cannons, even though I can't afford them. Come on, Supercell, get yourself figured out. Um, you know, because I can't afford them. How am I supposed to upgrade them if I can't afford them? Yeah, but uh, that's okay, because we're going to go do some raids. We're going to get some loot. It's going to be good. But um, but yeah, things are getting expensive. Things are getting very expensive over here. It feels like the game's against me, but it's okay. We're going to catch up. It's going to be great. So let's go use our army. Let's go dominate a base. And as usual, uh, try to find as much gold as possible without really caring about any other without uh, caring about any other resource. Because honestly, Elixir, yeah, that's cool. I'm using it for upgrading walls. And uh, Dark Elixir is cool every once in a while when the laboratory comes into play. But now, it's all about that yellow stuff, okay? It's all about that gold. So, let's try to find a base. That's a, that's a base, and it's got decent Dark Elixir. It's got gold. Did I say dark elixir? Out oh, for for my brain, my brain farted for a second. It was like, wait, what did I say? What did I just say? Yeah, that's what I thought. I just said dark elixir. Anyway, gold, gold. It's all about the gold. Let's get the gold. Uh, so I've got, um, I've actually got. This is gonna work out really, really nicely here. Watch, ch check this out. I'm pretty sure this wizard can get this gold storage. Yes. Pretty sure this baby dragon can get this gold storage. Yes. And then now these two gold storages are out here. I could technically just, like, cut out after this and leave. But no, we're going to go for the town hall. We're going to go for that three star. Um, mostly because the gold is actually sitting in the town hall, too. And there's probably some gold in the mines. You know, we'll just have to see. Well, uh, let me see. Yep, yep. So all of the gold storages are now... Okay, watch, watch. Boom. All the gold storages are done, and there's still 214,000 gold in this base and it's probably in the gold mines it's probably in the town hall so let's just take it out shall we uh queen is actually running away from the enemy queen that is not a great thing uh let's go pekka out here and i could actually wall break i'm just gonna wall break why not um as soon as the walls are broken through i'm gonna send the king in there too i want everybody in there there you go very good i'm gonna get a couple wizards to back things up as well and here we go. All right, so Queen, take out the um, air defense. I don't have a freeze or anything to help you out with that Inferno, but that's fine because the Queen can access that Town Hall. This is going to work out really, really nicely. Check this out. Go, Valkyries! Get in there, Valkyries! Dude, the Valkyries with the heal are beasts. Like, seriously, they, they survive forever. Not like the heroes. Like, the healing... Di there's a big difference between the healers on the heroes and the healers on troops. There's a huge difference in how much healing actually takes place. So, let's go Rage Spell out there, get the Valkyries under there, get the healers under there, and now the Queen is just going to continue going off on her own. So let's go Hogs on this side to go in front of the Queen, and a couple of Wizards to start the cleanup process, and then I'm thinking maybe Warden's ability there to uh, deal with the Eagle Artillery. Yeah, that, that, looks, that looks good. So let's go heal out there. Do I need a Rage spell? I really, no. Yeah, let's go ahead and Rage. The core looks kind of mean. Uh, poison over the Queen, and we're gonna heal next to this Queen as well. Look at this, this Queen's actually going around in the opposite direction now. She, the, she, she knows something weird's going on. So she's gonna step up. She's hopefully gonna help with this enemy, enemy Queen soon. And all of the Hogs have split up now and are taking care of the exterior defenses. This is actually great. And I've got one more heal too, I forgot about. Heal Hogs, heal! <laughs> like they're, like they're dogs, right? Go! Go Hogs, you got this! Heal! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now all the defenses are dead. Let's take out the enemy queen with the queen's ability. Oh, nope, never mind. They're they're running way over here for this cannon. Yeah, now I'm wondering if three star is even possible. I mean, they, that was a huge detour, and we got a lot of buildings left in only 18 seconds. And now the queen is stuck on a wall. Oh, no! Okay, come on, hogs. Come on, hogs! No, we're not going to get the three star. Dang it! If I had been paying better attention 
We may have actually three-starred this base, but we're gonna get super, super close. Look at this, guys. We only got like three buildings left. Okay, five. Five buildings left. Three if, if you count, if you don't count the builder huts. Do you count the builder huts? Do they count as buildings? They're more like huts, right? They're not really buildings. Anyway, that's just where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking. So there we go. 700,000 plus gold and elixir and a decent amount of dark elixir that no one cares about. And the um, the star bonus, which is a big plus. So I actually can't request for CC. And I've got 12 minutes until my army's ready. What the heck? I don't... I don't remember starting this army late like this. This is super weird. Why Why are they just now cooking? That is the weirdest thing ever. Well, all right. Well, we're going to have to... Let me see. I've got 3,500 gems. And I've got a short, short, short schedule today. So let's just... Get up in there and let's get ready to donate. I'm actually gonna open up my my account. There we go. As soon as it's ready. You ready, buddy? Come on. That's what I thought. Nice. Okay, so I'm ready to donate now. So let's go ahead and just finish off the army. 16 gems plus request for eight. That was 20. 16 plus eight is 24. So let's go ahead and throw the Valkyries in there, throw the rage and the wall wrecker. Nice. Alright, so we're good to go. We have no. Warden and no king, doable without, but sad. It's sad when we have to leave our friends behind, but it's okay. It's gonna be, it's gonna work out nicely. So, um, once again, let's try to find a base with tons of gold. Guys, I'll be right back once I find it. We'll dominate it, and it's gonna be great. Um, wow. Okay, well, guys, that is, um, that's a lot of loot sitting on the outside of this base. I'm not gonna three star, I can guarantee you. That, but at least um, we've got access to crazy amounts of easy, easy loot to grab. So let's go ahead and just do it. Again, focusing on the gold. Let's go to... Just kind of spamming my witches. There we go. And then bowlers, queen, poison spell, rage, and heal. And then the rest of the bowlers as well. There you go. Let's... Uh, maybe we should freeze over that single inferno. And then I'm also going to drop a, uh, a rage spell kind of leading into the core there. And then maybe a jump spell going over into that um, eagle artillery. Yeah, I think this will work. Let's go ahead and freeze up all of that. And why are you going around the outside, queen? I wish, I mean, it would be amazing if this game had a way to direct our heroes. You know, like click and then they 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 go for that part of the base. Now, I know that would make the, the, the game a lot easier. I know that. I realize that that would probably break the game. But how cool would it be if we had the ability to legitimately control our heroes? That would be amazing. But, all right, let's go ahead and pop this queen's ability because she's being targeted now by the eagle artillery. Um, and she's dead. Dang it. I popped the ability too late. I probably popped it, like, half a second too late or something. But at least, dude, at least we still... I mean, look at this. Wow, look at that. Three giant bombs in one spot. There's another giant bomb. I mean, the bottom of this base was completely tricked out with all kinds of death and destruction for my troops. But we still got loads of loot. Check this out. And yeah, as soon as we hit that 70%, that's going to be a full loot bonus on top of that. And we got the two-star, which means we got the um, the star bonus. So, I mean, this was good, right? This was highly profitable for us anyway. So, uh, there we go. 322 plus 225. What is that? 550. Almost something like that. That's really good stuff a dark elixir a lot of that as well again Don't care don't want it, but it's okay, uh, and I'll take that star bonus awesome. So let's see After I collect everything after I click my treasury and collect all that Let's see how much loot we're actually sitting on okay, because that's kind of important. We're at ooh We're actually at seven million elixir or gold. Sorry seven million gold. Okay Well, um, so to upgrade the inferno we need eight can't afford that can we afford a Tesla? We can't. Can we afford an air defense? We can't. What about a wizard tower? We can't. Uh-oh. Um, Expo. We can't. Archer tower. We can afford an archer tower. Great. And then probably the cannon. Yes. What about the air sweeper? No. What about the bomb tower? Yes. Who cares? But yes. And then the mortar. Okay. So obviously the top priority of the four defenses that we actually can upgrade will be this archer tower, which is good because... They each get two levels anyway. If we sprinkle in a few of these upgrades every once in a while, it's going to work out to our advantage. So, check this out. Six-day upgrade. And remember, we're still staggering stuff. So, if we look at what we got, we got a, a five and we have an eight. I'm, I'm rounding them up, obviously. So, this being a six does not argue with our staggering strategy. 
So I say we go ahead and upgrade this Archer Tower, which means they've actually got a, a, a one and a half million gold to put forth to the next defense, whatever that may be in the next episode. So let's upgrade this Archer Tower, guys. The first one, let's do it in three, two, one, bam. And once again, book of fighting or book of uh, building, don't really care, don't really need it. All right, so guys, where are we at? Where, where are we at? We got two builders. Uh, they're long upgrades, a five day, a six day, and an eight day. So that, that's, that, that actually works out because by the time that one's finally finishing, by the time the Inferno Tower is finally done in five days, I hope to have the other two builders working. Okay, um, I'm playing catch up, but I've got time. That's the best part. I mean, yes, all these upgrades take a long time, but they're also very expensive. So it all evens out, right? I mean, you, you know, if there were one day upgrades and I needed 7 million gold a day, that would be rough. But because it's like 7 million gold every six days, I mean, that's that's doable, right? I think it's doable. So, um, so yeah, that's that's awesome. Now, what about our elixir? We might as well pour some of our elixir into the walls. Let's do let's do uh, six million. There we go. Six million elixir poured in. Let's keep the rest for armies and such. And of course, we have a, a seven day period until these witches are done. Town Hall ten max level. And then what? I mean, I guess bowlers again or something. I mean, we do definitely want to end up maxing our bow witch anyway, since we use it on such a regular basis. So, um, so it's good. We're in a good position. We're already at one and a half million gold into the next defense. We got loads of elixir excess for, um, for armies and stuff. And the dark elixir, we probably are going to have max dark elixir by the time this laboratory is done. But that's just the name of the game when it comes to fix that engineer. Also, and, um, I think somebody in the last video asked about this, the walls. We actually have only 105 walls left. That's not too bad. That's only what, like 210 or 220 million loot. That's a lot of loot, but it's not as bad as if I needed to upgrade 300 of them, right? So we're making good progress. We're about two thirds or nearly two thirds of the way through these walls to max Town Hall 10. And then we're on that Town Hall 11 wall grind, which is well known as a terrible, painful grind but we'll get there eventually so guys that is um all the time i have for you guys today and all we have for fix and engineer thank you all so much for tuning in like this video if you liked it hit that subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the klaus family don't forget to ring the bell for notifications to be able to see the videos and uh take part in the streams as early as possible and also be sure and check out my second youtube channel klaus media the link is in the description we're having a lot of fun with some minecraft and other games and then last but but certainly not least, be sure that you, yeah, I'm talking about you, make sure that you are supporting a content creator using the creator boost. If you don't know how to get there, then hit the gears at the bottom right hand side of the screen and go to more settings, go to the very bottom and enter a code under creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. If you want to support somebody else, then just, you know, use their code. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you use somebody's code, that's what matters to me. And also remember that it disappears every seven days. So before you make any in-game purchases, double check and make sure that your code is active. Once again, that's all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure and uh, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.